Hi and welcome to today's post of Supervision Month where I'm talking about my supervision model. So today's topic is going to be Inskip and Proctor's functional model. So this model focuses on three functions. One is the restorative function, the second one is the normative or managerial function, and the third one is the formative and educational function. So I'll briefly talk about each and again if you want to learn a bit more about this model I've created a blog post for this and I will leave you a link at the end. So the restorative function is the one that deals with the more emotional side of, of the supervisee's health and well-being. So taking into account that as counsellors we tend to work on a regular basis with strong emotions and distress that might leave us feeling emotionally, mentally and sometimes even physically drained, we need to have this support in place. Our supervisor needs to know these things and needs to be aware that some clients might affect us more than others and be ready to help us out if that's the case. So when I am in supervision with somebody and I see that they're distressed, we will go through these emotions with them and, and work through what's going on in the therapy, what emotions are, are the supervisees, what is the, the client projecting on them and so on. So in regards to the normative or man managerial function, this is the, let's say, quality control function. And this is where ethics comes in and professional standards as well. So basically this means that we should work to a framework of ethics, which means that we're showing respect to our clients, we're maintaining integrity in our practice. So let's say if there's an issue that we don't think we can handle, then we can talk to our supervisor about it and refer the client on if necessary, or see if we can do any training that will help us work with this client. And all of this will allow us to build appropriate relationships with our clients and supervision will keep us accountable and keeping respectful of the autonomy of our clients. And the last function is the formative and educational function, which is where the, the therapist will develop their knowledge and skills. And this is more practical and it'll happen as, as and when. So reading, going to trainings, going to seminars and things like this will go on the side of supervision and, and of their private practice. So we've got the restorative function, the managerial function and the educational function. So all of these sort of touch a little bit on what the other models have touched on, but these focus more on practical aspects. And this is why I think it's important to use all the models that I've mentioned so far and the ones I'm going to mention in, in the next few posts. So keep tuned and I will send, I will post another message tomorrow on the next model. So I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.